now let us discuss about select command in sql or we can call as select statement in sql by using select command we can select data from the table we can select data from the database uh, select command is called as dql command dql stands for data query language so by using select command we can write a query by using which we can display the data so that's why we can call select as dql statement why because we can write a query which is used for displaying the data select command can also be called as dml statement also dml stands for data manipulation language but by using select command we can't perform any changes in the database but we can select some data we can display some data on the uh, corresponding database server so that's why we can say that select is not a hundred percent dml statement okay so select is called as both dql as well as dml statement now let us see the advantages of the select command here we have a table called employee table employee table contains three columns employee number employee name age and salary let us write uh, some examples based on the select query select star from emp select star from emp so here star specifies all so if we use star then what will happen is the entire table data will get displayed all the rows from the table will get displayed here how many rows are there in this table one two three four rows are there so all the rows will get displayed and the uh, second let us see some ex one more example select enum comma e name from employee from employee so whenever we use this statement then what will happen is only employee number column as well as employee name column will be displayed from the employee table only these two columns will be displayed from the employee table here what will happen is by using select command we can uh, uh, we can select the data from the table and the corresponding data is stored in result set the corresponding data is stored in a table called result set table so result set contains uh, the entire rows of the corresponding select command if you see here okay if we execute this command then what is happening what is happening employee number column as well as employee name column so these two columns will get displayed now these two columns will be stored in a table called result set so result set is a table which contains the information regarding the select command okay and uh, we can use where condition also so select 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 salary from employee where here we can use a condition called where where salary is here uh, we can use various operators uh, here uh, let us use an operator called greater than operator where salary is greater than 40000 so now what will happen select sal from employee so only sal column will get displayed only sal column will get displayed so name of the column is sal from employee where the salary is greater than 40000 okay so this is 35000 35000 is less than 40000 whereas if we consider the second row second row salary is greater than 40000 third row here also the salary is greater than uh, 40000 here also the salary is greater than 60000 so here by using where we can specify the condition okay according to the condition we can display column data or row data here we have displayed the column data instead of that we can display row data also okay we can display row data also so select select star from emp select star from emp so if we use select star from emp then what will happen all the rows will get displayed 
all the rows will get displayed where let us write some condition here where a is where a is greater than 40 so now what will happen so instead of 40 let us write uh, uh, some 37 instead of 40 let us write 37 and now what will happen now what will happen star means all the rows will get displayed but here we have written some condition a is greater than 37 so here we have two rows where the age is greater than 37. So these two rows will get displayed. This is about uh, select command in SQL.